The turkey boys are back. we must be turkey central this year because I bet you we have 30 turkeys in the field next to us. Plus we have the six boys that are in our backyard. They know us and they feel comfortable enough with us to come into the backyard. So this is probably the fourth day in the row that they've been to the house to Come hang out with Miss Lupita. Look at these gorgeous boys. They're so pretty. And here's mom. They've kind of been chasing her around, not like fast, cause turkeys aren't really fast, but um, she's been like walking away from them. And now she's decided that they're not too bad around her. So, Oh, who knows what's going to happen. I think everybody's hungry this morning. What do you think? We gotta take care of the goats. Good morning, Miss Agnes. Good morning. Now you may ask why we do not feed our chickens in constant feeders. Um, and the reason being is we want our chickens to forage as much as possible. Um, we find that if we just put feed in the feeders, they don't really try to forage off the property at all. Um, and the reason we want them to forage is because we want them to have, um, you know, the bugs, the little frogs, the seeds, the, the greens from the grass and things like that. If they just get chicken feed, they don't seem to want to do that as much. Um, and if they forage, they also have yummier eggs. The yolk is more orange and the chicken is just a healthier chicken. Now we feed our chickens this way twice a day. We do it once in the morning and then the kids do it once in the evening um, when they get home from school. So they do get fed twice a day. They get plenty of feed for their needs. And then they also get to forage um, throughout the day during the day. Spring is coming. If you can hear maybe in the background, hear the little frogs and the red tipped blackbirds, red winged blackbirds, red tipped blackbirds, something like that. And um, so we know spring's coming. Um, the temperature is getting warmer. Our highs are in the 40s and 50s now. So it is time to have them start to forage. We put our hay in what we call the hay cube. It's an old IBC tote or ICB, something like that. And we take the plastic center out. The hay goes in the middle. And then the goats can put their heads in and eat the hay. Nick made a roof to cover it to help protect against the rain and the snow. And it works out quite well. Morning, Charlie. How are you, handsome man? How are you? Are you hungry? You ready for your feed? Miss Liesel, she is a mini alpine. Her mother was full alpine and her dad is Sven, our buck. She's pregnant and due to have kids the beginning of May, or actually I think middle of May, I have to look at the date. And she has been bred to Charlie. So I'm curious to see what her milk production is gonna be like. This is kind of a test that we did. 
we sold her mother because her mom just didn't have the greatest manners and we're trying to teach her better manners but her mom had great milk production so we're hoping that the milk production passed through to Liesl but the smaller size and the better temperament is in Liesl as well she's still ornery has her moments she is definitely more of a pushy goat she wants her her food and she wants it right now and she's also a goat that'll walk in front of you to kind of goats like to cut you off like walk in front and cut you off and she's our only female that we really have a problem with that um, one of our big um, weathers does the same but she's the only female that does that so I'm curious to see how she'll change when she's had her kids a lot of times they settle down and have better temperaments um, her mom though like I said we got rid of her because she just had bad manners she was a full uh, full grown alpine but she was a bottle baby and this is why I don't really like to raise bottle babies when a kid is raised by its mother its mother goat it learns goat manners it learns to not jump up it learns to not um, be a brat basically I guess is what I could say Lee or uh, sorry Liesl's mom her name was Maria we had a lot of problems with her jumping up on us now when she was little it was cute and we tried to correct her but I think the people who raised her from a bottle let her do it all the time and then by the time she's a full-size goat and she's trying to jump up on you she's gonna knock you down and she's definitely gonna knock a kid down um, she was a sweet goat would follow us anywhere we went but she was just too pushy for our herd and and what we like to raise so she went to a good home in the Cincinnati area to a woman who had another alpine doe and was gonna use both of them for milk this is Miss Winnie hi Winnie Winnie we got a couple years ago I think last well maybe last year at this time and we bought her for the fact that she was supposed to be bred but she was not and actually I think she was just fat she was given way too many treats they even were giving her bread to eat and that's not healthy for a goat so we leaned her out over the uh, summer and she had kids about four weeks ago this is one of her little boys over here. I've talked about him before. His name is Ranger, but we call him Little Man more than anything. Um, this is Nacho. He is one of our weathers. He is the biggest weather that we have, which is a, one of the reasons we did not breed him. He's super friendly and lovey. Um, but when we got him, we got his mother, Luna. Luna is our herd matriarch. And we got Nacho and his sister Mia, who is over here, and Chip, who is the black and white goat back behind Mia. We got them all at the same time, and we just didn't want little boys impregnating their moms. So Chip and Nacho, we weathered them as soon as we were able. Mia, however, we have kept as a breeding doe, and she had two uh bucklings this past winter and they have both gone off to new homes but this is mia and luna luna is mia's mom like i said luna is our herd matriarch she is four years old now and we have had her since she was 18 months and her and her kids are what started our goat herd and we just love them they're super sweet mia's not the friendliest goat that we have. She is the most skittish goat um, in our herd. But since she started having kids, that has helped drastically. She's much, much more willing to let us come see her and talk to her and touch her, where before she was just very standoffish. She didn't want us to be near her or touch her. We could look at her, but like this was as close as I could get to her. She didn't want me to come anywhere near her to touch her. And this is Willow. Willow is one of Luna's kids. She was a single when she was um, born. She doesn't have any siblings. And her dad was one that um, we bred with Luna, who was supposed to be from really, really good bloodlines. Now, obviously, I can't remember 
the lines to tell you, but we want to keep her just to see what her babies are going to be like. She's a very wide doe and she's proving to be a pretty deep doe as well. So I'm pretty excited to see what her babies will be like. They are due at the end of April. So this will be her first kidding and I'm excited to see what her babies are. See how wide she is in the back. She's got a good stance on her. I'm hoping for a good udder out of her as well. And uh, it'll be exciting. We just love our willow. Is Cinco. He is another weather that we have. And he is a um, an alpine, a French alpine weather. And he was one who was a 4-H project who should have been processed after 4-H and was not. Unfortunately, they're so sweet and so cute. Sometimes it's hard to process them um, and send them off to market like uh, like a 4-H or should. Last but not least, we have Chip. Chip is a sweet boy. He's very friendly, very easy to get along with, very chill. Uh, most of the time we can pet him without any problems. Every now and then he gets in a mood and he doesn't want to be touched. But he's a super sweet guy as well. Sounds like that's going to be the music for the day. Micah, how are you today? They are doing so much better. They're much more comfortable, relaxed. Everybody's eating well. She's not happy with me now because I'm actually like in her cage. So I'll go ahead and close it up. Good morning, Miss Becky. Like I said, she's kind of the crazy one. So she is not as people friendly and not as happy to see us. She goes to the corner instead of coming right up to see us. But baby steps. We'll get her to love us. Puppy, what are you doing over here? We're going to have to get you back to the porch. Oh, it's Miss Edie. Miss Edie is the puppy that we are going to be keeping here on our farm. So we want her to be everywhere and experience everything. But yeah, the rabbits are doing really well. We're going to be picking up a male rabbit for them this weekend. So I'm sure they'll be happy about that. Um, we're gonna name him Archie to keep him with the theme of the Archie comics. And um, it'll be exciting. He is also a black silver fox rabbit as well. So we're hoping within the next week or so, we'll be able to be breeding some rabbits and get on with our meat production. Miss Sassy Pants getting her scratch on over here. How we doing, Sass? How we doing? Oh, you're not okay with those puppies, are you yet? They're learning now. They're learning. I think it's really important to make sure that your puppies um, are around other animals and around other dogs when they're little so that they know how to handle them when they're bigger. Um, yeah, Sassy was growling at them, but really she's just telling them to stay away. I don't want you playing on me. She's not mean. She's not hurting them. And if I would see her go at one of them aggressively, I would remove the puppy and then try again at another time. But this is perfect. Sassy's been great. She's been playing with them and having a good time with them. Um, those of you that don't know, Sassy is not the mother. She is a golden retriever that we have, but the mother, Agnes, I'm not sure where she's even at. She's around here somewhere, um, is mom. And so Sassy is just being a good aunt and tolerating <laughs> the puppies. And she's doing a fantastic job. And the puppies are doing a good job with listening. When she says to get away, they get away. We've been keeping them outside as much as we can because they need to be used to coming outside. And they're doing so good. Chewing on everything they can find including boots or whatever. We try to keep a lot of stuff picked up so that they can't hurt themselves, but that's what puppies do. Agnes is over here chasing a, a, a chipmunk. I just saw it run around the wood splitter. So she's doing her job. She's keeping the, the, the homestead free of 
critters that shouldn't be here. That's so funny. Did you lose it? Where'd it go? Puppies don't care. They're just playing. We just had a little rain here and look at this beautiful rainbow. And it's a full <laughs> rainbow. Absolutely stunning. Thank you all for spending time with me today. Please like and subscribe to Apex Acres.